Good afternoon, Dr. Miller. Hello, how are you? I am so excited. I got the invite to show up at Glen High School, and here I am. But you're going to have to tell me, what are we going to see today? All right, well, we're going to see students, and we're going to see staff. Uh, our focus here at Glen is the student and the staff experience, and we've aligned that with empowering staff. And so what I wanted to do initially was I wanted to talk to kids and figure out, okay, who are the teachers who have had an impact on you? Oh, yes, the students. Yep, so started with students first. They identified some teachers, so today we're going to get to meet students, and then we're going to meet the staff who have had a huge impact on We're them. We're going to get to meet the teachers too. Absolutely. So exciting so and how powerful. Yep, absolutely. So let's go meet the students. Love it. Okay. Hey Alex, how's it going? Good and you? I'm good. Alex? Yep, that's I'm me. So excited to meet you, and I understand we're here today because we're going to get to meet the teacher you nominated. Who is that and why? The teacher is Miss Aguilar. She was my uh, sophomore year Spanish teacher. She was always really supportive of me. She, like, she was really caring. Like, she understood me well more than any of the other teachers I knew. And like, I just, I built a connection with her that I'm, that I'm always going to keep, like, forever. I'm, Hola, ¿cómo estás? I'm good at you. <laughs> you made a big impact in my life and and you like changed everything for me. Like you're for sure like <laughs> one of the best people I know right now. And, and it really means a lot for me that I represent something special for you. You know, I know you had your family and you were very special with me. Well, we have a couple of incidents there when you didn't turn in your assignment, right? Feel very honored that you choose me for as your mentor, um, oh, I'm an abrazo. <laughs> Can you tell me, like, what you think made special moments with these students that makes it memorable for them? I have fun with them. You know, my soul is like a, I have a teenager in me. I'm very happy that they have this opportunity and they feel like they can just like leave the traditional role of students being sit and do something else, but not because I say that they have to do it, but because they want to do this. All right, so you got to meet Alex, and now I'd like for you to meet another amazing student, Ishan. I get to work with him every day because he helps me with morning announcements. All right, Ishan, hey, nice pleasure to meet, to meet you. So um, you've nominated a teacher. Can you tell me about that teacher? Yes, yeah, so I actually nominated Mr. Riley. So I had him sophomore year for AP World History and then I actually came back and took his class again, uh, AP European History. The reason like I nominated him, whenever he'd be like teaching, obviously like everybody at school has like a different learning style. Some are visual learners, some like are like auditory learners, but like he would teach in a way that like every like student in the class could like understand him. You're not allowed in here. Goodness, <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice I understand you. that Ishan has nominated you uh, for an teacher. Oh, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Of course. They're an awesome student too. Thank you. <laughs> when they asked me like who's one teacher that's like really impacted you in your high school career, I mind like you were instantly like my first thought. I wasn't like the biggest fan of history but like the fact that I came back to your class like junior year to take another history course like I think that just like really speaks volumes about how great of a teacher you were. Surprises me you said you don't like history because you asked some of like the best questions in, in the class and you're one of the kids that makes teaching easy. So I appreciate having you in class as well. I have a lot of critical thinking students and I try to put the learning in their hands as much as possible. But as teachers know, sometimes you know the best plans don't always work out unless you have kids that are willing to to critically think and to put in that work. And we as teachers try to put those structures into place. And I think, you know, we do a pretty good job for the most part. Dr. Miller, I love being out here in the courtyard and visiting the facility. But what I love most was the interaction that we saw today between students and teachers. Can you tell me when you started this project, what did you expect and did it turn out the way you thought? I knew I wanted to start with students. I wanted to really hear their voice and have them explain to us, you know, our focus has been the student and staff experience, but I wanted to give kids an opportunity to let us know are the things that we're working so hard for really impacting their learning and, the, and their experience in the classroom and so I want to thank you for the amazing questions you asked because I got to hear our kids share their stories but also the teachers share that the work that we're doing to support them is really being effective and really having an impact on what happens in daily in the classroom so thank you so much for doing that thank you so much dr. Miller absolutely and always remember go, go Grizz. Grizz.